We got a big new update for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, update 1.50 that kills the major XP farm tactic, another farm tactic and there is way more to discuss. I will run down all the things you need to know in this video so let's get into it. Would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support and let's go. Maybe by the time you watch this you already know what the Icarus pack looks like. I'm currently on a trip to check out an upcoming game so I made this video before the pack launched. But I just wanted to note that there is still time to participate the giveaway for that pack that includes a mount, gear set and also a bow. Follow the link in the pinned comments and be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter. Good luck, I will announce the winner soon after my video about the pack goes live. Okay, now on to update 1.50. I already warned you in my previous video, but the XP and money farm tactics are now as good as gone after this update. For one, they nerfed the amount of XP and drag me that you get from the XP farm quest that you could access via the story creator mode, like this XP and drag me farm 5.0 mission. Here you see footage of me doing it before this update, where I got like 1500 drag me multiple times, and also a ton of XP, sometimes even one level. Like you would rank in these ability points really really fast with this tactic, but now if I do this same quest again, you get less than 1000 drag me once, and a varied amount of XP that is nowhere close to what it was before. But yeah, it was obviously a matter of time before this happened. And I would argue that it actually took them pretty long to combat this. So now instead of removing the missions that gave you XP and money, they removed this tactic altogether. So that even if a quest gets removed, you cannot make a new one. I mean, never say never, maybe people will find out another way to get fast XP and money, but the old way doesn't work after this update. The patch notes notes that they made changes to balancing of XP and drag me distribution in the story creator mode. So I was curious if this meant that the overall XP that you can get by doing missions in the story creator modes would be nerfed too and that does not seem to be the case. I tried my elite dungeon quest that I of course highlighted here multiple times on the channel. We'll leave a link to it in the description for if you want to add it to your game. Now with the amount of XP that you get from the missions in this quest is the same as it was before the update. So you still get the same amount of money and XP from doing the regular story creator mode missions while they did nerf the XP farm tactic to the ground. There was another way to get unlimited money or materials and that was by selling the bow from the Helios pack. It's a legendary bow so for some reason you could sell it or dismantle it and then pick it up at the own section again so then you have it in your inventory again and could sell or dismantle it again. But again, it's a legendary item, so this was not supposed to happen. So if you check the bow after this update, you see that you cannot dismantle or sell it anymore. I can confirm though that my material, money and epic farm tactics still works after this patch. I just made a story creator mode quest in front of a fort like the one in Masara. And every time you restart this quest, the enemies in the fort respawn as well. So. Then you can just take them out, get all the loot, finish the quest and do this over and over again. Because the enemies that you put in the story creator mode yourself do not drop any gear, while the regular enemies that are just in the world or inside a fort, they will drop gear. So after you killed all the enemies and got all the loot, you just want to end the mission and can restart if you want. And then you can get a ton of epic gear that you can use, sell or dismantle. I will leave a link to that video with the full explanation in the description and I will also link to it at the end of this video. Let's continue with some more changes that were made. For some people the Nemean Lion set and the Underworld set would not appear in the visual customization window while for me they were always there. So what happened right now is that you see them two times in this menu on the top and also all the way down. So I think that it fixed it for the people that did not see them in the visual customization window but people like me that did not have this issue now see these items two times. If you got the bare chested and oiled armor set that you can buy at the blacksmith that gives you extra damage while covered in oil then you can now finally engrave and upgrade it something that first wasn't possible for some people thanks to a bug. Well Ubisoft now fixed it. And of course to get this item you just want to go to a blacksmith, check the buy section, 
If it's not there, check another blacksmith and do this over and over again. They also note in the patch notes that they address an issue where other legendary blacksmith armor could not be engraved. Think that is just the armor that was already in the game. I'm not sure if more was added with this update, but the last time it was also a secret edition. So totally when you find some interesting things with this update, let me know in the comments down below or via my social media channels, Instagram or Twitter, both your Raptor. I told you in a previous video that during my interview with Bruno, the live content director, he teased that they were working on another surprise and that they still had some surprises left for the game. So maybe we see something in this update, I'm not really sure, I haven't found anything yet, but of course again let me know. What is new that Ubisoft for example did not note is the customized story lock icon in the story creator mode page of the quest menu. This will lead you to the story creator mode website where you will immediately see the hall of fame so you can select some missions that were picked by Ubisoft and can then play them immediately in the game. You first need to sign in with your Ubisoft Club account though, that is linked to your game, like you have to sign in with the right account. You likely got one, but I still thought it was worth noting. So then it should work seamlessly, and that's of course a great thing, that you do not need to go on your computer to go to this website to then add the quest manually. Everything can now be handled inside the game and that's a really great step in the right direction. We also got a fix for a game breaking bug where the cultist would still be alive even though the player already confirmed the kill and also the player's knowledge will now reset in the new game plus mode. I also saw people in the comments on my recent video say that they could not hear the shanties anymore. Well looking at the patch notes this also seems to be fixed. I don't think that I had this issue, but yeah, it's good to see that Ubisoft is onto it. Another thing that's totally worth noting, I already made a video about this yesterday, but you can now play the first episode of The Fate of Atlantis for free until September 1st. So if you download it between now and September 1st, then you can keep it forever. So then you got 8 hours of pretty awesome content. If you have trouble finding it, then just go to the main menu and click on the sort of advertisement that should lead you to the store where you can download this first episode. So I think I covered most of the important things from update 1.50. I will still leave a link to the full patch notes though in the description so you can read them all if you want. But you still might ask why was this update so big if they only included some changes and fixes. Well, that is because they actually also included some assets for the Discovery Tour that will be coming out in September, so really, really soon. Meaning that when they finally release it, we do not have to download a ton of things anymore. If you are unaware, just like with Assassin's Creed Origins, we are getting a Discovery Tour for Odyssey as well, where we can learn more about Ancient Greece, explore the world without combat, and also take these guided tours that teach you more about the setting. New is that familiar characters like Marcus will now tell you more about the world, like Marcus is all about the daily life aspect of Greece, Barnabas will tell you more about the mythology and Leonidas will be your guide for everything on Sparta as we already see in the footage that they released. There are 30 of these tours in 26 of the 29 regions of the game and there are also cinematics to give you a better understanding of what is told. Something that was missing in Origins so curious how this will play out but I think this will be a great addition. What I really liked is that you also got to play with different characters. We see the cultist already in the gameplay, but there are actually 35 of these characters in total and also 15 mounts that you can choose from. We could instantly access them in Origins, but in a Discovery Tour from Odyssey you actually have to unlock them by completing activities, exploring the world and completing the tours. So it's an extra incentive to go and do everything. In Origins you got a skin for Senu after completing the tours in the Discovery Tour. Not sure if there will be anything like that that you can take outside of this separate mode. But we will know soon enough. It's also still unclear if there will be new trophies or achievements added. I asked Bruno about this but he was not sure. When we know more about the launch of this free mode and get a gameplay trailer or anything like that, I will of course let you know here on the channel. So totally subscribe to stay up to date on everything Assassin's Creed Odyssey and of course the future of the series. I will do a video on the Eagle Rolls pack really really soon and of course include the weekly reset there too. 
giveaway again in the pinned comment for this new armor set. And now let's get the Sargon to open some Olympian gifts because I actually only need 3 more lieutenants before I got everything from the Helix store. I of course got all the item packs so I could showcase them in videos but really like got all the ship stuff from the Olympian gifts. So I still got a ton of Ori Kalkum. Uh, you can really get everything I think. Ooh, speaking of Athena, now I only need two. Javelin damage, firepower, and javelin, not bad. Firepower, uh, this is a pr pretty good one. We're gonna open some more. I'm opening like three every time now. You see that the store is one hour 55 minutes uh, before it resets. I'm really like leaving uh, wh when the weekly reset happens. I will uh, let you live. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at Athena really fast. Okay, okay, okay. I'm behind you. Okay, her face is a little bit weird. Can you like have another expression? No? You're always like, what the heck is going on here? Either way, subscribe for way more Odyssey like I already said. Check out those videos that I mentioned, like one on the material epic gear and money farm tactic. And uh, one about the free DLC that you can now get until September 1st. For now though, I will speak to you next time. And let me know if you found, by the way, anything in this update. I would love to know. Goodbye.